Oh my fucking god, my god, you were going absolutely balls in in this chapter. Like, <laughs> he just went absolutely crazy with this freaking Night Moth attack. So in this chapter, we see my guy, like, he, Mother is saying, yo, you've only got a little bit left of your last attack I'm taking. And we see as well in this chapter, Sasuke and Naruto arrive as well, like, they're back. But what I noticed is that they have... Like, with Naruto, he has, like, the sun on him, and then, as well, Sasuke has, like, a crescent moon on their hands. Maybe this is to represent, you know, light and darkness. This is, like, what the sage, uh, this is what the sage of Six Pass gave them. Like, I'm guessing that's represented light and dark, I'm guessing. And I like to saw that we got a little backstory on, like, how Guy and Kakashi met. That was cool, you seeing like, the white fang again. And the guy, like, also had, like, the same mentality. But Guy had the same mentality as his father at this point, and even his father, the white fang, said, noticed that he'll be a stronger than you someday. He'll be a strong rival for you. And it's like, Guy is that speedy and that powerful with his last attack with Night Moth that he is actually distorting space. His whole, like, the Night Moth attack turns his whole body black and he just, you literally just fucking dive kicks him in the chest, literally destroying Madara's, like, rib cage like that. And also as well, makes half of his face missing. I'm like, there's all this skin, all this shit is missing. It's crazy. And it's like, because of this tag, because of the last one, it's that my guy actually becomes Ash. He's literally becoming Ash. And then when Naruto uses his sun mark to save Guy, this is the only issue with the chapter. It's like, um, why, like, just why did they not, that have to happen? Because I feel like if you're going to use the eight gates, then I felt my guy should have died. And yeah, it would have been, <clears throat> yeah, it would have been for nothing and all that. But it's, even though he's done some crazy amount of damage to Madara, he broke his ribs, he smashed up his face, he's like weakened now, and that's like giving him a chance for Naruto and Sasuke to now, you know, go in there and finish the job. That's what he's doing right now. Really, like, annoyed with that ending. If that weren't for those last few pa pages of this panel, I would have gave this chapter a 10 out of 10. That w This chapter was absolutely fantastic. Really fucking respect my guy in this chapter. He was a fucking boss. But then it's like, Naruto, he had to come in and save him. So it's like, uh, so that was the only thing I had an issue with this chapter. But so what do you think in the comments section down below? But that's all for me. I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys.